<laughs> okay, so I found this book. It's called The Popcorn Dragon, and I've never read it before, so here we go, guys. Um, I story time with Chicky. Uh, my nickname it has always been Chicky. I don't know why. We'll just go with it. Um, and let's just dive in. Story time. Woohoo. Okay. It says The Popcorn Dragon, written by Jane Thayer, illustrated by Lisa McHugh. Dexter was a dragon with a green scaly body and a long twisty tail. He had short knobby legs. He had wings like a bat's, which he would be able to fly with when he was older. Like all dragons, Dexter had a hot breath. When he got mad or excited or breathed extra hard, his breath grew extra hot. One day, Dexter felt sad because he had no one to play with. He was so sad that he sighed a deep sigh. <sighs> Out of his mouth came a cloud of smoke. <gasps> Why, look at me, he said Dexter. I'm blowing smoke. He could hardly believe it. He sat still and breathed hard. <sighs> sure enough, smoke was coming out of his mouth. Dexter cried, I never knew I could blow smoke. He ran to his mother, panting for joy. He shouted, look at me, I'm blowing smoke. Look at his happy little dragon face. He ran to the edge of the river where he could see himself in the water. He said, look, just look at that smoke. <sighs> he thought, I am going to show the other animals how I can blow smoke. Look how happy he is. He's so cute. Dexter began to stroll up and down. He puffed a little smoke here. He puffed a little smoke there, if, as if blowing smoke was just nothing. After a, little, after a while, he saw the other animals, the giraffe, the zebra, and the elephant peeking at him behind some rocks. Well, let's see what happens here. There's the... The giraffe, the zebra, and the elephant all came out and watched Dexter blowing smoke. Their eyes nearly popped out of their heads. Dexter blew smoke until he looked like a bonfire. Oh dear. Look at They look so concerned. Pretty soon, the giraffe slipped quietly away and hid behind a rock. He said, whew. I'm trying to blow smoke like Dexter, but he couldn't do it. Oh, look at it. He's trying. He's trying so hard. Then the zebra ran off and disappeared over a hill. He said, Phew, and Phew, trying to blow smoke like Dexter, but he couldn't do it. Finally, the elephant said, goodbye. I have to go. He trotted into the woods and went, trying to blow like smoke like Dexter, but he couldn't. He said, Pooh, who wants to blow smoke? It's so sad. They all came back and watched Dexter blow out of the corner of their eyes to see how he blew smoke. Dexter was delighted. He said, I can blow smoke and you can't. Oh. Dexter pranced around, showing off. He chased a yellow butterfly with his smoke. He puffed a little cloud of green of smoke at a green grasshopper. He scared a striped chipmunk with his smoke. Ooh. He's having a lot of fun. He even puffed a small puff accidentally, of course, right on the other uh, animals. The smoke felt rather warm to the other animals. The giraffe said, you stop it. The zebra said, I'm going home. Dexter stopped blowing smoke. He thought, I don't want them to go home. He said loudly, oh, I guess I won't blow plain smoke anymore. I think I will blow smoke rings. He stuck his head straight up in the air and blew smoke rings. The other animals had to watch just had to watch Dexter blow smoke rings. They moved back to a little so they wouldn't get scorched. They watched till they were so envious they could hardly stand it.
Finally, the elephant said, Certainly is silly blowing smoke rings. He stalked off, and, and he started to stalk away. Dexter stopped blowing smoke rings. He thought, What can I do to make them stay? He said loudly, Oh, I guess I won't pl blow plain smoke rings anymore. I think I will blow smoke rings around my tail. He turned his head. <laughs> he turned his head and blew smoke rings around his tail. He swished his tail this way and blew rings around it. And he switched his tail that way and blew rings around it. Finally, he swished, switched it so hard he hit himself in the nose. Oof. The blow brought tears to his eyes. Dexter blinked quickly and said, See, I can even hit myself in the nose. The animals were so envious, not knowing how Dexter's nose hurt, uh, that they couldn't bear to watch one more minute. And Zebra said that Dexter is always showing off. And the giraffe said, We don't like him, do we? And the elephant said, come on, let's go. Aww. When Dexter saw the other animals actually going, he stopped blowing smoke rings. Suddenly, he remembered that he wanted someone to play with. Oh, dear. He called out, hopefully, want, to, want me to come with you? The giraffe said, no, they didn't. Oh, look how sad he is. Dexter watched them go. Then he went home and said to his mother in a forlorn, forlorn voice, I haven't got anything to do. He is. He got a little dragon tear. His mother said, blow some smoke. I don't feel like it, said Dexter. His mother said, go play with the other animals. They won't play with me, said Dexter. Then you must... Have been showing off, said his mother. I think she knows him pretty well. Look at that. Dexter wandered down the road to where the other animals were playing. He did wish he could play too. He sat down to watch. The zebra shouted, We don't like you! Go away! <laughs> oh dear, that's not very nice. Uh, see, they're sticking their heads up too. Not nice at all. Dexter was very sorry now that he had showed off. He had no one to play with. He was tired of blowing smoke. He wandered into a cornfield and lay down in the shade of the tall corn stalks. Oh, you look so sad. Let's see. He watched a, a yellow butterfly flutter against the blue sky. He watched a green grasshopper hop on a blade of green grass. The butterfly and grasshopper did not know or care how lonely Dexter felt. He could hear the far-off voices of the animals playing. The sun was warm, the sound of insects, and the far-off voices began to make Dexter drowsy. He closed his eyes. He fell asleep. Look at that. Sad. Oh, What's gonna happen? Dexter began to dream fireworks were going off. Then he dreamed the most delicious smell in the world. He woke up. He heard pop, pop, pop. Popcorn, cried Dexter. Right under his nose, there was an ear of corn that had fallen off the ground, off the stalk onto the ground. Dexter's hot breath was popping the corn on the ear. Pop. The kernels came popping out. Dexter reached out and gobbled some. Crunch, crunch, snack, gobble, go. Mmm, good, said Dexter. Yeah. Let's see what his friends think, huh? Soon the popcorn um, on the ground was all gone. Dexter wanted some more. He stood on his hind legs and pulled the husks off an ear of corn on a corn stalk. Then 
very carefully, Dexter breathes his hot breath on an ear of corn. Pop! Went the corn. Pop! 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 The crisp white kernels fell in a shower. The popcorn smell began to drift through the air. The giraffe, the zebra, and the elephant stopped their playing. They said, Mmm, popcorn! They put their noses up in the air and went <laughs> towards the smell. <laughs> Maybe they'll be friends again. When Dexter looked up from his crunching, they were peeking around the corn stalks. Dexter swallowed the popcorn. He said quickly, have some? The giraffe, the zebra, and the elephant cried, but you've eaten it all up. Dexter said, I'll pop more. He moved eagerly along the row of corn stalks to a new place and quickly pulled off some of the husks. His hot breath started to pop the corn. The popcorn fell all around. The animals crunched and munched, and soon the popcorn was gone. Dexter said quickly, for fear that they would go away, I'll pop some more f if you want. The animals looked at each other. The giraffe said, That Dexter is very nice when he doesn't show off. Oh, so they're being a little bit nicer together. The zebra said, Let's ask him to play with us. The elephant said to Dexter, Want to play with us, Dexter? Dexter cried, Okay! He was so delighted that before he knew it, he breathed a little hard, and out came a cloud of smoke. But Dexter quickly turned his head to the side. Oh, excuse me, please, he said politely. And when they had played until they were hungry, Dexter popped popcorn for everyone. The end. And so, now we know. You shouldn't show off, but it's nice to make friends when you have the ability to do something fun like my popcorn <laughs> and I think I think it's a cute story and I like the little pictures um we'll I guess do story time some other time the end <laughs>